and the ground, which is plus minus skip and ground right there. Oh man, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful thing. Thread this through and around like this. Yes, right there. Under that wire. <coughs> you gotta make your own circuit boards like this sometimes, you know. Done, 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 done. All right, let's put this back in now. And get it all in the box. In the box, in the box, in the box. This goes in the hole. There we go, there it is, that's lovely. LED going into place, nicely done, nicely done. This squishes in, this squishes in, and there's our wires. Let's go ahead and put the nut on, secure it. Ah. little bit more into the holder. I'll put a drop of super glue on that later. Okay, we're gonna feed this through this little hole right here inside so it comes out there. It doesn't matter if it loops around a little bit, if it makes a long path inside the box. It'll, that's good. I'm gonna put some heat, hot glue on it in a bit so I can, so it'll secure. Hello, come on, baby. I know you can get in there. I know it. I know you can do it. There we go. There we go. All right. And it's alive. It was working. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. You, by the way, you, just about three foot of wire on one end and three or four foot on the other. That's all you need, unless you're, you want to run it. Uh, I don't recommend running it any longer than you need to. If you're using it with a GoPro, you can use it with that. If you use it with a, with a laptop or with a, a, a portable recording rig, uh, however you wish to run it, it's fine. It, it will, it'll do fine, but the shorter the better. Remember, short is good. Okay, so there we go. There we go, see, it's all in there. It all fits. The, the, the door closes, uh, the battery fits. Let's put the battery in. Okay, snap it on good. Make sure you always ha ha make that snap on good. That fits right down in there snug. Tuck the wires. Be careful with it when you change the battery. Don't be breaking wires out. And ta-da, there it is. It's on, it's off. And this is your microphone. Hello, don't break it, John. All right, there we are. Yeah. Clips on, you know? Mic on, off. Let's fix the other end. This is how you do an XLR. I'm going to make 
this end for an XLR. Right back. Okay, so I have a uh, Anoitric male XLR. It's an MX. What is it? Yeah. It says, uh, yeah, what the heck, you can look it up. Yeah. Uh, M, 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 C plus M, X, N, C, M, N, X, X, whatever. These are the cheap ones, but they're good, they're fine. So what I'm gonna do, make it easy for me to build this, is I'm gonna clamp a, 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 a female, uh, hello, if I can, <laughs> clamp a female XLR in a connector like this. I'm gonna clamp it upside down so I can plug this guy into it and solder on it, see? There, it's like that. You can see on the female XLR, usually numbered. Here's one, two, and three, so. And it's numbered on the back of the Neutrik here. There's one, and there's a two, and there's a three. Okay, the center one's always three. So you just find one. It's usually, well, never mind, one. Pin one, what I do first, of it, it, before I even strip wires, I will tin these cups. I will fill the cups with good fresh solder and flux. Okay, so it's nice and it sticks well. So, put the iron in the cup and flow solder into it until it's a nice shiny little bead in there. Don't be afraid of getting it hot. It needs to get hot. Make it flow good. All right, there we go. That's a nice, nice fill. Here's another one. Let's go. Get it hot. As I said, a female XLR. If you're only doing this one at a time, a female XLR and a clamp works fine. If you're doing a whole lot, if you're wiring a studio, you need to wire a whole bunch of cables. Uh, drill a hole in a two by four and put a put a, a panel mount female in there and then just plug them in, female, male, and you got both best of world, best of both worlds, and you can just solder away, cable after cable. It'll hold it still for you. There's nice, nice little, nice little bead there. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more on this guy. Uh-huh, lovely. So, Take the other side of the wire, right here. This is the output. Get this end and prep it. This goes on first before we do anything, before we strip or anything, all right? Uh, this is going to go on over that. That's gonna go in first. Is that right? Yeah, this goes over. Okay, this is the only thing that you have to thread on these nitries. Then you strip it back. Trim it back. I trim it long because I will put, do the same thing I did before with the shrink tubing. Um, just leaves a neater job. If you can do this, it, you know, it's not required. It's just not required. You can also make them, oh, that string wire is ah, coming out. I hate that when it breaks. All right. Um, you know what? I probably better do this just straight for you. This is probably the easiest and best way. Tin the ground, tin the, the, the drain wire first. Tin it back a little bit so it makes it stiff. And bring the solder out to the tip. Let it flow, and there you go, like that. You got a nice, it binds all the wires together. They're not fraying or anything. Look at it like this, about that long, okay? So everybody's gonna get clipped right about here, okay? Then I'm gonna trim it back about there and tin that. That's all there is to it, just like that. You can put shrink if you want. This wire doesn't need it, it just doesn't. It's, it's a happy thing. Yeah. And here, yeah. come on. Oh, quit running away. There we go. Okay, this is one over here. Let's just put our, our shield in that one. Get it, come on, solder. 
I need a, another hand growing out of the top of my head to do some of this stuff sometimes. Extra hand would be handy. Uh huh. Heat the work. Ah, uh, come on. I hate that when it does that. Ah. Uh, hold still. All right. It's not helping. That's not helping. All right. There we go. Straight, straight. Come on, baby. See, I push on it. It goes once or right away. It's, it's against me. It's trying to get me. Uh, so here and here. Heat that up. See, I don't have to feed any new solder into it. I just heat it up. If you pre-solder and, and get them all prepped, you can just get it hot and then tuck the wire in like this. Heat it up. Ready, set, come on, baby. Get hot, it's not doing it. It's misbehaving. There it is, now it's going. Drop that in. Uh-huh. Unplug, there you go, see? There's your cable. Now, this up in there till it clicks. There's a little groove that goes in. Slide this on. There's a split down this little crimper here. Fits in the sides like that. Feeds right in there like this. Okay. All the way in. Hold it snug. Put this thing on there and spin it in. There's quite a few different types of connectors and cables, but there you go. Now, your microphone has an XLR on it. And um, I can go test this, I'll test this microphone up on, up on my system with my uh, digital converter. We'll check it out, see how that works, okay? All right.